Lisa's gowns. Not that box. That box. Oh, this box. Looking very festive. I have a feeling this masquerade ball will be the perfect way for all of Berry Bitty City to celebrate the grand opening of our dog park. Give it some elbow grease. Let's make this dog park sparkle. Put a little muscle in it. Scrub them good. Let's make them say... Barry can Ed, Barry can Earl. You have work to do. Remember the Barrican code. A Barrican never shirks his work. Uh, yes, sir, boss, sir. Uh, we're on the job. We gotta sneak out of here so we can get to work on <laughs> Project You Know What. Well, sure I know. Project Berry Top Secret. <laughs> Don't say it. Don't even mention its name. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> no, no, no. This is a tablecloth, <laughs> not a toy. Hello. Hey, Huck. How's everything at Berry Big City? Oh, fine. Great. Uh, I got the invitation for the party tomorrow. It's a masquerade ball in honor of the grand opening of the dog park that you helped us build. You know, costumes, music, dancing. It's gonna be fun. See, that's just it. Uh, <laughs> dancing's just not my thing, you know? I appreciate it, but... But I'm sure you'd have a great time once you were here. Dancing? I can't do that. You wouldn't have to, Huck. I'd make sure nobody asked you. I'd stay by your side every minute. Every minute? Not every other minute? <laughs> you couldn't get rid of me if you wanted. Okay. If you promise. Promise. See you tomorrow, 7 o'clock. He'll be here. Oh, no! Scouty! <laughs> the girls worked super hard on those decorations. And you ruined it. Hold on a minute. I don't think it was Scouty's fault. Hannah? <laughs> Looks like you guys jumped to a wrong conclusion. We're so sorry, Blueberry. We're sorry, Scouty. Oh, that's okay. Let's clean this up so we can finish decorating. A few details to finish up tomorrow, and we're done. I hope so. I still have to get my dress ready. Let's get a good night's sleep and meet at the cafe in the morning. You coming, Blueberry? Uh, I'm right behind you. Decorations are up. Check. I've started the food. I'll bring some dog treats from the store. Check. Do you need any help with the music, Cherry? All taken care of. Blueberry was going to print some welcome signs. I wonder where she is. I have some extra masks at my boutique if anyone needs one. And if anybody wants help with their hair. Blueberry, hi. Where are you? When I woke up, I wasn't <laughs> feeling too, 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 too. Oh, Blueberry. It's just a little. <laughs> Cold, but I can't make it. <laughs> Good night. Well, don't worry about the party. You just get better. I promised Huck I'd be there. I said I'd be with you the whole time. He'll be fine. We'll make sure. Now, get back to bed. Can I bring you anything? Thanks, Strawberry. I'm okay. Poor kid. That's too bad. It's worse than bad. It's awful. I know she was really just so, so looking forward to it. Well, you know Blueberry. She's mostly worried about how Huck will feel. There has to be some way I can help. I have to do something. I know what to do. 
Raspberry has that box of extra gowns. I can go to the masquerade party as Blueberry. Oh, Hannah, isn't that an absolutely super idea? I'll get one of the blue gowns and wear a blue wig. Oh, Huck will never know I'm not her. Come on, Hannah, I have a lot of work to do. Something I can... Of course! Blueberry can't go to the party, but I can go to the party for her! I'll wear a blue gown and a blue wig. <laughs> and no one will ever know. Careful, Earl! Careful! You know what's in this thing? Sure! Project Berry Top Secret! Shh! If somebody hears, it won't be secret anymore, will it? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Blueberry, how are you feeling? <laughs> Achoo! I felt Achoo! worse, but I... Achoo! I can't remember when. This should help. A fresh brewed batch of Be Better Berry Tea. Drink some and you'll be berry better very soon. Always works for me. Did you hear that, Scouty? Wait, listen. There, hear it? I'm not sneezing. <laughs> Strawberry's tea really did work. I can go to the party and Huck won't be alone after all. There isn't much time. I have to get ready. Won't everyone be surprised to see me? Now, the final touch. Hannah! Come on, girl! I'm right here. <laughs> if my own dog doesn't know me, no one will! If I didn't know I was me, I'd think I was her. Chiffon, it's time! <gasps> Don't be scared, sweetie. <laughs> I'm still me. Hey, Strawberry! You look great! Thanks! You too! Both of you! Is Huck here? I haven't seen him yet. I need to tell him about Blueberry as soon as he gets here. you made it. Have you seen him? Not yet. You still sound a little funny. You're sure you're okay? Oh! <coughs> I'm doing super. Just a little... <coughs> Come on. Better get some of that tea. <laughs> Throat. Good idea. Seen Huck? Still not here. You seem different somehow. Are you sure you're all right? Never mind, don't talk. But could you tell me, just nod yes or no, have you seen Lemon anywhere? She isn't here. Oh, neither is Raspberry. I'll go get her. Oh, I mean, I'll go get her. A party without Raspberry is like, um, a bookstore without books. I thought you were looking
looking for raspberry. Oh, I was looking for tea, remember? Wow, your voice is better. How did that happen? Oh, uh, yes, well, um, mystery novel lover that I am, uh, it's a mystery. <laughs> hey, I just realized I haven't seen Lemon. I'll go see where she is. <laughs> Strawberry, is he here? Have you seen him? Oh, there he is. Super party, don't you think? I'm not sure, but it seems like something strange is going on. Strange? Strange? What, um, why do you say that? I don't know. I can't quite put my finger on it. Say, have you seen Raspberry? Here I am! Didn't think I'd miss this, did you? Who wants a party without me? Kind of like a book without a... Uh, never mind. I heard Huck's here. Have you seen him? Huck? Huck? Excuse me! Strawberry? Guess who? It is I, Barrick and Bruce. How do you like my disguise? It's, um... It's... it's great. Excuse me, just a moment. I have to figure something out. Certainly. Plum? Guess who? I'm really glad you made it, Huck. Thanks. This does look like fun. It is. Want something to eat? Sure. When I saw how great the park looked, it made me think, what a cool place to set a mystery story. Like maybe a jewel heist at the masquerade ball mystery. Huck, that's terrific. You want to work on it together? Definitely. Let me get a pad of paper and we'll write down some ideas. Hey, whoa, hold on, Blueberry. You promised you wouldn't leave me alone, remember? Here, sit, eat. That way you won't have to dance with anybody. But... <laughs> Guess who? Ed and Earl? Those guys are supposed to be making sure the lanterns don't run out of sparkleberry juice. If they're shirking their work... So, here you are! Huh? <laughs> Siobhan, you can't have this. Uh, go find raspberry! Hey, I brought you a piece of raspberry tort. Made it myself. Uh, thanks. Now, let's get to work on our story. Get to work? Story? Oh, our story! Later, later. This is a party! <laughs> Who wants to work at a party? <laughs> but you said... Hey, wanna dance? <laughs> Wait a minute. You're not kidding? Kidding? Uh, no. No? Why would you ask me to dance? How could you ask me to dance? The only reason I agreed to come to this shindig is that you promised that I wouldn't have to... Excuse me, guys. Has anybody seen Raspberry? Well, you're looking right at... Oh, I mean... Well, uh, I mean, not me. I mean, no, yes, I mean... Oh, Raspberry, of course, because I'm Blueberry. I'm a Blueberry. But if it's Raspberry you're looking for, then, uh, that's not me. So, but I bet I can find her for you. Raspberry, that is, that I can do, even though I'm Blueberry. Is it just me, or is everybody acting strange tonight? I don't think they're acting. Huck, there you are. Where'd you think I was? Look what I brought! Lemon meringue pie! Made it myself. Boy, you've sure been baking. And please, don't ask me to dance. Yeah. Why would I? <sighs> well, that's more like it. Not when you're so hungry. Right. But let me know when you've had enough dessert, and then we'll hit the dance floor. <laughs> you really know how to milk a joke. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Listen, while you were gone, I got an idea. About what? About how to pull off the jewel robbery. Hmm. 
jewel robbery. The way I see it, a jewel robbery is a natural for a masquerade ball like this. Uh, it is? I figure, with this crowd and all the noise, everybody in costume, it'd be easy to steal the jewels. Nobody's gonna know who did it. Jewels, sure, if you say so. Terrific, Blueberry. Then we're on the same page, so to speak. <laughs> How about the jewel heist idea? <gasps> Princess Merrikin, he's going to steal her tiara. So, you sure you like my idea? You don't seem very excited. Um, well, I'm Blueberry, and I always like your ideas, right? So, yeah, I love it. Now, here's where I really need your help, because you're always so clever at figuring out this part, Blueberry. How do we pull off the getaway? <gasps> Getaway? Um, yeah, that's a good idea. I, um, uh, let me get right back to you on that. I think I need tea. My <coughs> cough's coming back. Excuse me. Don't you want to work on the story? Uh, not just this minute, no. How about some shortcake, Huck? Made it myself. Princess, where's the princess? <gasps> so, you know the drill. Sure. I memorized Project Top Berry's secret forwards and backwards. Shh. You mean backwards and forwards? Uh huh. That too. No one's gonna see it coming. Yeah. <laughs> They'll never suspect. <gasps> An inside job. Come on. We gotta set up the last fuses. I caught you. How'd they get away? Well, I'm ready. For what? To talk about the story. You said you didn't want to. What? I never said that. You did too. I heard you with my own ears. Just like I heard you ask me if I wanted to dance. What? I never would have asked you to. Twice. You sat right there and said, Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Maybe you heard what you wanted to hear. Maybe you're just looking for an excuse to go. Maybe I am. Well then, go. Well, all right then, I will. I'm going. Wait, I'm going first. Huck, where are you going? I'm, hey, what? What's going on? I have captured a criminal mastermind. Huckleberry? Uh, he was planning to steal the princess's jewels. I stopped him just in time and foiled a grand conspiracy between this villain and that one. Blueberry? Or, uh, uh I mean, uh, that one. Blueberry? What's going on here? Which blueberry is Blueberry? Would you mind removing your masks? I can't. I'm too embarrassed. I think I know how to settle this. Scouty, will you help me, please? Go on, boy. Go to Blueberry. <laughs> Blueberry, are you all right? Huck said some very mean things to me. None of them made sense. He's not being himself at all. <sighs> He's not the only one. What's this? Who are you? Uh, you? You can't be her. I'm her. Well, if you're her, who's she? Why don't we all take off our masks? Raspberry? Lemon? Blueberry? What are you doing here? Why are you pretending to be me? Well, I thought you were at home sick, and I knew you were worried about Huck being at the party alone, so... Me too! I didn't know she was, and I thought he would be, and so I... But then you... Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> then it must be Barrick and Ed and Earl who are stealing the jewels. Nobody's stealing any jewels. I was talking about a mystery story with Blueberry. Or... Somebody. But, but, uh, I heard Earl talking about Project Barry Top Secret. 
Uh, it seems like we've all been jumping to conclusions. Ed, Earl, could you come here, please? Aha! You two! Project Berry Top Secret? Did you guys take care of it? Shh! You'll spoil your own surprise, Strawberry. You're in on it too, Strawberry. Oh, the shame of it. <laughs> We're ready to go. Press the button, Earl. Well done, Ed and Earl. Well done. is in charge of the Wanderberry hunt. And you're the Berry Fest princess this year, so you tell us where to look. Lead on, oh fearless leader! <laughs> Very well, faithful berry hunters! As your most leaderly leader, I hereby decree we look... Hmm, um, how about over that way? Begging the princess's pardon, but the really amazing plants grow over by the creek. I bet it's that way. I read somewhere that Wanderberries like shade. I say we check under those tall flowers. <laughs> I'm so sure we'll find it hiding in there somewhere. Wanderberries need sun. It's gotta be over there. <laughs> Guess they all have their own ideas, huh? I have a feeling we'll find it over here. Just a hunch, but that's what my heart's telling me. Come on, you two. <laughs> okay, Custard, Pupcake. Keep your eyes open. Only one Wanderberry plant grows at a time. And it could be anywhere. Could be right under our noses. <laughs> oh! <laughs> there it is. The one and only, one of a kind, <gasps> Wanderberry. Isn't it the most very beautiful thing you've ever seen? Careful, Pupcake. This berry is going to be our dessert at the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. <laughs> Whoa! Are you all right, Berry Kim Blue? Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Uh, had a little stumble, took a little tumble, as I was looking for. <gasps> but you found it. Oh, my, 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 yes, yes, yes. A fine specimen this year. About the biggest I've ever seen. Oh, the color so rich. The shape just so... The texture. Oh, amazing. Oh, and the aroma. Oh, yes. Perfect in every way. Oh, Custard, no. Yes, Pat, we must take care. There is but one of these delicious, nutritious berries at any given time. And how fitting that you, our new Berry Fest princess, should have found it. Found it? Found it? Who found it? Strawberry! Strawberry found it! <laughs> Look at it! Isn't it something? Unbelievable! It's incredible! Oh! Oh, yeah! 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 Oh, yeah!
Princess Strawberry? I'd be honored. Mm. Oh, harder! You can do it, oh. Strawberry! Give it a good shake! Oh, that's it! This moment, a new Wanderberry is springing up somewhere. Could it be here, or there, or there? We never ever know quite where. This thing's pretty heavy. It's gonna take all of us working together to get it back. Is everyone ready? Ready! Uh, Miss Shortcake? What's the matter? Did you hear that? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Me neither. Me neither either. But listen. Very close. Oh, there it is again. How very beautiful. Oh, quite a lovely sound. I still don't hear anything. I hear my stomach growling. Oh, just thinking about our picnic tomorrow and having this berry for dessert. Oh, it stopped. I wonder why. All I know is we have to get this berry back. Uh, you're right, Orange Blossom. Let's get moving. Hee! Ho! Hee! How will we get the berry back now? Yeah, what do we do, a wise leader? Just gonna have to carry it back, I guess. <sighs> that thing must weigh at least a lot. We can do it, together. Come on, everybody, grab hold. Let's go with your legs. Okay, guys, count to three. One, two, three. <laughs> Hurry. It's getting dark. Yeah, can't leave it way out here. Gotta get it back tonight. Right. We have a tradition to keep, you know? Take a little break. <sighs> Me too. I think we all need a rest. <sighs> we'll catch our breath, then we'll start again. Why can't we just leave it here? Yeah, just for one night. Oh, I don't think we better. Please, Strawberry. Um, it's tradition to store it at the Berry Works, right? We should keep moving, right? Oh, it is tradition, <laughs> but you are the Berry Fest Princess, and this decision is yours to make. I know everyone is very tired. We're having the picnic here tomorrow. That's true. So we just have to bring it back. Yeah, I guess it'll be okay. Oh, Pupcake Custard, do you hear that? It sounds somehow different now. Almost like something's wrong. Maybe we should go look for it to make sure it's all right. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry! It's a disaster! Disaster, disaster! What is? What's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, come on and see. Why won't you tell me what... Is everything?
everything all right? The Berry Kids tell me that... Oh, oh my. We've been robbed by rabbits, burgled by bunnies, and they ate almost every last berry bit. Oh, I was really looking forward to a big berry dessert this afternoon. It just won't be the Berry Fest feast without it. Yeah, it's a tradition. When the old one disappeared, a new one popped up. Somewhere, right, Berry Kim Bloom? Oh, yes, uh, that's true, quite true. Oh, right. We'll have a Wonderberry after all. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find it. I think there's something wrong with that bird. I think it needs me. I think we need you. You know, she's right. There's only about a ton of things to do around here. And since you're the Berry Fest princess this year, you're in charge of everything. You have to judge the flower show. And you need to help with the Berrykin Band concert. And there's the whole Berry Fest feast to plan. And you can't do anything till we find another Wanderberry? You're the leader. You have to decide what we do next. All right, all right. I will decide, Orange Blossom. You help the Berry Kim Band set up for their concert. Will do. Lemon Meringue, you get the flower show set up and pick the top three for me. I'm on it. Raspberry Tort, Plum Pudding, Blueberry Muffin. You'll help me get the food ready for the feast. And you. Yes. I want you to go look for the new Wanderberry, okay? Woohoo! Okay! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Forty-six and forty-seven. Right. Need about another dozen. All done with the flowers. Need any help in here? Oh, we'd love some help with the sandwiches. The Berry Kid Band's ready to go. Can I help you? We can use all the help we can get. You and I can work on the salad, Orange Blossom. See? We're going to be fine. As long as we work together, nothing can stop us. <gasps> Did you find the new Wanderberry? We looked everywhere. Two times. No, three. We, we couldn't, couldn't find it. And we're as sorry as can be. <sighs> oh, no. How can we possibly have the Berry Fest feast without the Wanderberry? It's almost time for the picnic. You still have to pick a winner at the flower show. And there's the band concert, too. So what are we going to do, Strawberry? What are you gonna do, Strawberry? You're the leader here. Yeah, tell us, Strawberry. Well, what's gonna happen? What'll we do? Yeah, what? I don't know! I need a minute to think by myself. Was it just me or did she seem a little stressed? I have no clue what to do. It's all just oh, too much. Oh, there it is again. It's coming from over there, isn't it? It sounds like it's having some real trouble. I better go check on it. Oh, but they're waiting for me back there. What should I do? It's so hard to decide. It's never easy, is it? Oh, I want to make everybody happy, but they all want something different. I can't decide who to listen to first. Oh, you'll do the right thing. Don't worry that the others might disagree with you. Just listen to your heart, Strawberry Shortcake. You have a very good one, you know. Thank you. I'll tell your friends that you need a few minutes. I know what I have to do. I have to find that bird, but oh, which way now? Do you think it sounds weaker? Seems like it's coming from this way. Come on, you two, let's hurry. I still hear it. It's up here somewhere, I'm sure. You 
can do it, Pupcake. There you go. Come on now. I think we're getting closer. Oh, I don't hear it anymore. Do you? Where could it be? What is it, Custard? Oh, you found the Wanderberry. It's smaller than the other one, but it's still very beautiful. I'll be careful not to lose this one. Strawberry! You found it! Oh, we were worried about you. Didn't know you were out here finding the Wanderberry all by yourself. Lucky for us, you're the Berry Fest princess this year. Come on, let's get it back to town. In just a moment. Uh, but why not now? Because first, I have to find that bird. Do you know where it is, Pupcake? <laughs> there it is! Oh, poor little fella. Oh my, this sweet little thing. What's the matter with it? I'm not sure. Oh dear, it's all tangled up. Can you get it loose, Strawberry? I think so. There, you're free. Go on, little birdie. You fly away now. We have to get this berry back home. Uh, Strawberry, you coming? Something's still wrong. Oh, it can't fly. Why not? I don't know. Uh, maybe it, it hurt its wing. Oh, we better leave it here and, and get a doctor. Or we could build a stretcher and carry it back to town. Yeah, those are very good ideas, but... What is it? Are you hungry? Uh, Strawberry? That's for the feast, remember? Let's see if it wants some. Does that make you feel better? I have some more. Oh, well, uh, uh, don't give it all. We can find some seeds or something. But this is helping. It's a very special plant. The Wonderberry is especially nutritious. If we don't get the berry back for the feast, everybody's gonna be really disappointed. Well, if they are, I'm sorry. But this is the right thing to do. I know it is. But how can you be so sure? I can't be completely sure, but I have to make what I feel is the best decision and go with it. I guess that's what being in charge is about. I've considered everybody's ideas, but now I have to do what I feel is right, even if it doesn't please everyone. You can't make a better decision than that. It is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, kind of beautiful. Here, little fella. That berry was just what it needed. I'm glad we listened to you, Strawberry. Otherwise, we never would have made up our minds on what to do. <laughs> That's why you're the leader, because you know how to stick with a good choice, even if it wasn't what the rest of us wanted. Thanks, guys. Strawberry! It's wonderful! What? What is it? Guess we're having a very fest feast after all. Is everybody ready for dessert? <laughs> I think there's enough to go around. But first, First, my friends, let's thank our hostess, our very fest princess, for this wonderful feast. <laughs> thank you, everybody. I'm just glad that... that... What's the matter, Strawberry? You speechless? No. Listen. That's the song it was singing the first time I heard it. No. I think it's a little different. I think this song is a song meant for you. True friends last forever. Forever friends stay strong. True friends go together like men. Smile our way through Near or far 
Would you like me to read you a story? Okay, how about if I read you this one? A story that I wrote myself. Yay! <laughs> yeah! It's a story that takes place right here in Berry Bitty City. A am I in it, Boo Berry? And me? And me? We're all in it. Wow! It's called The Berry Long Winter. Now, you might think this all happened on a winter's night, but it didn't. It did it? <laughs> no. It happened on a winter's day. And because it was a winter's day, you might think it was cold, but it wasn't. It wasn't? No. It was as warm as spring. Everywhere you looked, winter was leaving. Now, you might think everyone would be happy, but they weren't. Oh. <laughs> All over town, people were sorry to see winter leave so soon. I barely get these wonderful winter fashions designed and then displayed. And no one's even tried or, or barely seen or tried them on. And now I have to take them all down. Hi, hi Raspberry. Raspberry. Oh, hi. Uh, did you come to buy some wonderful winter fashions? Well, we were looking for something a little more... springy. <sighs> That's what I was afraid of. Well, I better get busy designing my spring line. And all over town, that's how it was. The early spring caught everyone by surprise. Oh, Barry, you said your story was about winter. And it is. How can it be winter when it's warm? <laughs> well, you'll just have to be patient and see what happens. And so it was that lots of folks were sad to see winter turn warm. Lots of folks, but not everyone. Here you go. Hot chocolate? We should have ordered lemonade. Yeah, ice cold lemonade. Haven't you noticed the heat outside? <laughs> What's so wrong with an early spring? Everything. My store is overstocked with fruitcake, chestnuts, and marshmallows. I barely got to show off the new knit hat and matching scarf and mittens the raspberry made for me. The snow melted before I ever got a chance to go sledding. Or build a snowman, or play my favorite winter game, Capture the Snowman's Nose. Oh, yeah! Oh, snowman's Nose! I really love that game. You know, we might not be able to wear our mittens until next winter, but we could play Capture the Snowman's Nose now! And to do that, we'd need snowmen. Exactly. And to do that, we'd need it to snow. <laughs> not necessarily. So, all you gotta do is keep the juicerating confabulator turned on, keep this dial pointing here, flip on the freezelator like so, and presto! Instant snow! Thank you, Barricade Bruce. This is great! <laughs> well, let's build our snowman.
realize our teams are uneven. Our team has four. You guys only have three. Hey. Yeah. You're right. Well, uh, I guess I could referee. to make all the decisions about what's fair for everybody else. And in Berry Bitty City, everybody's opinions get to be heard. So, what do you think the rules should be? Oh, uh -oh. I don't well, know. Gosh, I haven't thought of any. Barricade Bloom? Uh, what if the rule was simply anything that's fun? Yeah! yeah. Very good. Should we put it to a vote? Yeah. Yeah. All in favor of the only rule being anything that's fun, say aye. Aye! All opposed, say nay. <laughs> the ayes have it. The rule is passed.
Um, excuse me, but can they do that? No rule against it. Anything that's fun. on this side. And the other three berrykins can form a team with raspberry, orange, and lemon. Now, each team will have the same advantages. Oh, no! Look! Uh-oh. It's melting! Quick, get some more snow! Do something! Oh, there it goes. No! I'm sorry, Strawberry. It's just too warm. The snowmaking machine can't keep its cool. Thanks for trying, Berrykin Bruce. Aw. Well, that's it. Fun while it lasted. Just when we worked out the teams. <sighs> Guess we'll have to wait till next winter. Yeah. Aww. Aww. Hold on, everybody. Gather round. What if we made our snowman out of something other than snow? Oh, anybody have any ideas of what we can use to build a snowman that's white and fluffy? You mean besides mashed potatoes? <laughs> mashed potatoes! <laughs> that's it! <laughs> hey, I was joking! I'm not! <laughs> it could work! Come on, everybody! Like winter. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have put away my winter fashions. Do you think it's too cold and windy to play? <laughs> yes, and it'll be getting dark soon. Let's come back in the morning. Meanwhile, hot chocolate for everyone at the cafe. <laughs> all their carrots had mysteriously disappeared. Well, this snowman's carrots are gone, too. And, and we used most of the carrots we saved in the winter storehouse for playing the game. <sighs> and it looks like winter is coming back. Aha! Gotcha! I know who our thieves are. Light on their feet, but not light enough for me. Little do they know, I've read all 120 Patty Persimmon Girl Detective novels. Or is it 130? 
and I can say conclusively, without a shadow of a doubt, that the culprits are absolutely, positively... Squirrels. Yes! Uh, huh? Yep, squirrel tracks. Three sets of them, it looks like. That is absolutely... correct. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Squirrels can get very hungry, and three of them are three times as hungry. What if our carrots aren't enough for them? You mean, if they started eating the rest of our food? Yes! The crops we've stocked up in case it's a bad winter. Oh, it's not going to be a bad winter. I mean, it didn't look bad yesterday. Looks like a blizzard might be brewing. Well, in that case, shouldn't we try to leave something out for them? You know, share what we have. But if the winter gets really bad, what we have might not even be enough for us. Oh, yeah, 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 I feel yeah, hungry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm with Berry Can Bloom. If a big blizzard hits, our berry bitty gardens and orchards would be buried. All we'd have to eat until spring would be frozen berrysicles. I think I'm with Strawberry. Shouldn't we share? Oh, I yeah, really think we should. That's Sharing is what we should do. Oh, well, no, not I don't agree at all. Because no, we can run out. We have to. Yeah. Oh, since this is really important and everyone in town will have an opinion, I think we should vote. Well, oh, all right. right. I yes. I yes. 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 This vote is for yes. And the last vote is for no. So, on the question of should we share our stores of winter food with the squirrels and other animals, the vote is... a tie! The number of yes votes and no votes are the same. Oh. oh. What, 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 what will we do? Oh. Did everyone vote? Huh. Yes, 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 yes. Good. Wait, did you vote? Oh, <laughs> you're right. I was so busy taking care of this, I forgot to. <laughs> um, well, no matter which way I vote, some of you are going to be happy, and others, well, maybe not so happy. We've all talked about it. What's the best thing to do for all of us, for the whole town? We've gone over the weather predictions. We've added up how much food we have for the winter. And we've talked about, is it a good idea to give away some of what we have, when we don't really know how long the winter will last? Like all of you, I... I can only vote what I think and what I feel. So on the question of should we share our stores of winter food, my vote is yes. And if a storm comes and we run out of food, they'll never forgive me. Everybody in Berry Bitty City loves you. You had a right to vote for what you believed was best. You weren't the only one who voted to share our food. But I was the tiebreaker. Oh, don't worry, Strawberry. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> it looks like some barricades. Oh, maybe they've come to tell me what they think of me. Well, I better face them. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Um, we've talked about it, and we've decided that you've been such a patient referee and leader, Strawberry. You respect all our different points of view, and so we'd like to ask you to be in charge of managing the rest of Berry Bitty City's food stores this winter. We think... Well, we think it would be the best thing for all of us, for the whole town. Yes, I agree. Yeah. That's a great idea. Right. Mm -hmm. Take it. Well, why don't we meet here in the morning, and we'll make a plan. All right, yeah, sounds yeah, good. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. right. 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 After we figure out the food situation, can we still play capture the snowman's nose? Well, I don't see why. I see. I see. <gasps> Look! Well, I think 
we found our carrot thieves. But none of the carrots were eaten. You weren't hungry? Then why? You wanted to play capture the snowman's nose? <laughs> well then! Yeah! <laughs> and that's how it happened at the beginning of a very long...